our basic batteries and stuff. And this is new right here. Oh no, 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 no. I hate you, creeper. Oh, you stupid fat creeper. They always do this to me. Hey guys, what is up? Beck Jack here bringing you another Vols tutorial. So today might be a little bit of a longer tutorial. Um, we'll be going over an updated um, power suit, the uh, modular power suits mod, and um, yeah, we'll be going over uh, each of the different upgrades you could do, how to craft these. So yeah, um, for the power armor set, the main thing you're gonna need is steel plates and control circuits or basic circuits. This is how you make the head. This is how you make the legs. This is how you make the torso. And then this is how you make the feet. So it's all just steel plates and basic or control circuits. Not too difficult to make. And then we have the power tool, which is just, again, controller basic circuits with two steel plates. And then the hardest thing you're probably going to need is the power armor ticker table, which is four lapis blocks, one emerald, and four steel plates in the corners. And then I'll give you your tinker table. And uh, once you plop that down, you can start uh, upgrading all your power armor. And basically, without um, any upgrades, uh, your power armor isn't really useful at all. You can see down down there, I don't even, like down here, where my armor is supposed to be showing up, I don't have any armor on. That's because I don't have any upgrades on these. So yeah, we'll begin uh, upgrading them. These are all the different upgrades available, and you can shift for more information on them. And uh, I'm not going to be showing how to make all these just because there's so many and uh, you can just do that on your own because this uh, mod allows you to do that. Just look up the recipes real quick. So we're going to shove all these into our inventory and we're going to go into the tinker table. And uh, first thing we're going to go over is the power armor head. You can shift more information and it'll give you um, information about the installed modules. So yeah, two things that we have is night vision. We'll install that. And we will also install flight control. So, um, this is an integrated control circuit, which will help you fly better, which, um, some other armor stuff gives you the ability to fly. And night vision will be able to let you see underwater and at night. And the armor, you could do diamond plating, iron plating, or energy shield. And, um, I'm just going to install the best just for the purposes. And then, over here, you're going to want to drag it up as much as you can to the top. But, um, you can also adjust it too, because, um energy per damage as you can see as I put it up the energy goes up which makes it uh, consume more energy and then this is where you actually store your energy for your uh, for your cap so I'll just install the best one an elite battery and put the battery size to full if I can seem to do that yep put it to all the way but it'll also make it heavier the weight will bring you down too but that's not really too much of a problem the water electro electrolyzer It'll uh, jolt the water around you, and um, you'll be able to breathe underwater, actually. This is really cool, too. And then you can either have it transparent, which I don't really like too much. I don't really am proud of my skin, zombie skin, so I just like to look at my armor. And then you can install that. And then you can make it whatever color you want. Uh, it's green, red, and blue. And then you can just adjust how intense they are. We'll just go for some sort of color right now. I'm not sure what I'm going for. I can just drag this up. I'll just leave it like that. So it's like a light greenish color. Kind of want it to be a little bit, yeah, like that, like turquoise. But anyway, that's the power he head. And um, how you charge these is, um, I'm pretty sure you could do it in a battery box. But they already come with um, a little bit of charge. So um, when you first get it, I believe it'll have a little like jolt of energy inside of it. So yeah, we'll just plop this down an infinite battery inside and uh, we'll see if we can charge our armor so I plop my head down in here yep it begins to charge and then once you get it to five joules um, five mega joules sorry about that and then uh, we'll go over the other stuff so yeah you can have a couple different battery box set up and use them as like a charging station type of thing so yeah and then once you have this on your forehead You'll see in the top left corner of my screen, it'll say 5 megajoules out of 5. That'll show how much armor, I mean, how much uh, power you've been using. So, say I turn it to night right now. It's nighttime, and I can see fine. Nothing is the matter, see? Everything is good. So, yeah, that's also good. And then, say I turn it back to day. And then I just run over here into the water. 
should be able to see underwater pretty, pretty dang good. Yep. Normally it's pretty dark underwater. Not anymore. Alright, but anyway, so that's um, some of the things you could do with the power hat. Some other things that we installed, um, like flight control. And um, it's mainly just like energy shields and the uh, flight control and the night vision. Those are the main things that we did. And also the water electrolyzer. We're just gonna cross our fingers and hope that works. So anyway, we'll go into the power armor. The main thing, the special thing it can do is um, edit, um, emit a hologram. So basically, this will make you invisible. It's sort of expensive, as you can see. It takes up a couple different um, materials. Once you put it on, though, you should be invisible, I'm pretty sure. Let's just install our basic batteries and stuff. And this is new, right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate you, creeper. Oh, you stupid, fat creeper. They always do this to me. Oh, my God. Oh, there's more. Crap. Uh, how do I fix this? Oh, God. Stay away. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, at least only the chest got messed up. But anyway... We were installing um, these stuff, which is a glider, which will allow you to take on uh, wings. I'll install that. And then we have a parachute, which will um, allow you to fall slower. And we'll be testing out all these in a second. And then we have our jetpack, which is my th favorite. And I just like to put the thrust all the way up as much as possible. And then we'll make it nice, cool color again. Yeah, like that, I guess. Yeah, that looks a little good. Okay, so we'll go test this out. Okay, yep. As you can see, I can run really, really fast. Boom, boom, boom. I think it's something... I don't know why I'm jumping really high, though. I don't know what's giving me this ability. Oh, God, not that. But, yeah, something is giving me the ability to run. It's really, really fast. See, I'm moving around. And when I jump, I actually kind of, like, glide. I can jump pretty dang far, and if I jump and then sneak, if I hit forward and then I hit shift, and then I'll be able to glide for a pretty good while. As you can see, I'm gliding, and then boom. Right there, and then I have, oh yeah, it's the jetpack. That's what's making this happen. And then if you just hold down shift, you'll fall really, really slow. I don't know if you can even see it. I'm falling pretty dang slow. Come on, fall! Fall. Okay. I think you fly in the direction that I'm pointing. Yep. You fly in the direction that you're pointing. That's why I'm having trouble with this. I wasn't really realizing that. But yeah. So let's try and get down to the floor. Try and stay on the ground here. Okay. Stay on the floor. And next we'll be going over the power armor legs. So uh, we'll just do our basic energy shield. Install. Field strength all the way. Elite battery install all the way and then these are the different movements you can uphill step assist which will help you go um, uphill a little bit better uh, I think it'll let you climb one meter high ledges and we also have swim boost which help you obviously swim bet swim faster and then we have jump assist which will make me jump even higher and then we have the compensation and how much power it will be using and lastly sprint assist which will make me sprint pretty dang fast I guess there's a walking assist too if you want to turn that on, I'm just going to turn everything on just so I can uh, like show you guys what it does. And then we'll make it our color that we want it, like that. And then, yeah, we'll just walk around. Okay, I'm going to take off this thing because this thing's messing me up. Okay, so just, I'm just going to try and just showcase the legs right now. So, yeah, I just jumped super duper high there. That's what the legs do. And I can also, if you see, I'm not even jumping right now. It's automatically letting me go up these these blocks. So this is the hill assist in action. You don't even have to do anything. And then when I sprint, I go fast as lightning. Like the flash. But anyway, I think the main thing I like here is the jump. Which is just crazy. Uh, lag. Crazy jump. I don't even know which way I came from. But yeah, with this thing combined with like the glider per se... It would be unstoppable. You would just jump really high and then glide your way, and you would be able to go. You would cover probably a thousand blocks within a few minutes. So anyway, we'll go over here and we'll do swim assist. See how that works. 
I'm swimming pretty fast. I don't know if you guys can see. It's swimming probably as fast as a boat, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit slower. And then I believe that's it for now. Oh, no! Stay, okay. Stay, stay, stay still. Okay. And then, yeah, that was the legs. And did I miss anything? Nope. And then lastly, we have the boots. So we'll just do our regular stuff right now. Elite batteries. And then this has jet boots. Not as strong as a jetpack, but uh, it will still propel you in the air. And then we have shock absorber, which is my favorite. It lets you absorb a shock. But let me just put the thrust up. So let you absorb a shock. Uh, and I do not have wool on me. Just realize that. So that's the one thing that's not in... This, I didn't even realize it. Let's get myself some wool. And then hopefully I'll be able to shock this. Yep. Oh, there we go. So I'll put the power up. And then uh, we'll make it our fun color. Boop, boop, boop. And then I will take off like stuff like this. And then we'll, as you can see, I can fly. And then why I'm moving so fast is the flight control on my head. That's um, this is what's making me move very fast, but I can slowly go up and then if I fall Okay, I honestly think this thing is bugged Because yeah, that thing's keeping me in air for some strange reason. I have no idea why but yeah This is the jet boots in action. I can jump pretty high um, And as you can see in the top left corner, I am running out of power But if you just stay still and hold space you can go up kind of high and I just got a text and an email at the same exact time while I'm recording this, so my bad. And then if I fall, no damage taken. So we'll move into the last thing, which is the power tool. And we have the plasma cannon, which is my favorite. Amperage. Voltage. Uh, voltage, is, I mean the amperage, I believe, is how much um, damage it does. And then the voltage is how many uh, percent, I mean how many creepers it will do. So this is, I think, um, full voltage is half a creeper. And then we have the melee assist, which um, just helps you hit things a little harder. And then we have the shovel. This thing is basically your all-in-one tool. And I don't have iron on me. I'm so unprepared. So let's grab some iron. Where'd it go? Some shovel. Overclocker. This is how fast it goes. Axe. Overclock it 100%. So we can just see how badass it is. Sorry. That's just the only word I could think of. And then we have our diamond drill upgrade. I mean our diamond, uh, yeah, diamond drill upgrade. Which uh, you have to have pickaxe to have. And you also need three diamonds. So basically like your regular diamond pick. But you can put it onto your power tool. Pretty neat. And then lastly for this you just need um, a servo motor. And this just um, reduces the speed of, uh, I mean increases the speed of uh, mining underwater. And then we have our elite battery, and we'll make it the color of our choice. I just love how you can make everything a different color. And then, yeah. So, I'm not going to have everything right now. So, this is the power tool. You just hold down right click, and then, boom. Let it go. See, that's about like half creeper, right? And you can just, boom. And as Duncan does, he just goes like this a lot. Which is extremely effective. Doesn't even cost that much damage, and um, if I just put in some mobs in this, say I just turn it to nighttime. Mobs, where are you? Oh, this thing emits light. That's neat. Let's see if I can find them out. Oh, pig! You just spray it, and then if I hold it down, boom. And then, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, we'll try the mining right now. This is the shovel upgrade. If I just dig down my way. This is the pickaxe upgrade. And then we'll go upstairs and we'll do the axe one. Hopefully we'll run into some mobs. Huh, yeah, piggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Taking you out. Boom. It's pretty powerful. And then lastly we have the axe upgrade. Pretty fast, so this thing is really, really good. And then we'll go hit something with this to see how that uh, one hit booster thing, or whatever it is, not the plasma cannon, the other upgrade, works on this. So, ah. So it has a pretty good knockback, I will say, and I think it's a two hit kill. It appears to be a two hit kill, so that's pretty cool, too. So, yeah, um, that's pretty in depth tutorial on the power armor. Um, 
yeah, that's basically it. So my name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you all 